Hello and welcome to Techie Hive. In the previous video, we talked about uh, uh, differences between synchronized block and uh, synchronized method. Today, as usual, we'll talk about another uh, uh, top Java interview question. And you can see the question on the screen. What is a Lambda function and how, uh, how internally it is invoked by the Java Virtual Machine, JVM? Can a method reference be replaced by a lambda function. So let's uh, uh, jump into the answer straight away. A lambda function or lambda expression in Java is a short, clear way to represent a method as an expression. Basically, a piece of code that can be passed around and executed later. It was introduced in Java 8 to make code more concise and to enable functional programming feature like uh, streams in Java. So Java 8 introduced uh, functional programming and uh, as a part of that, uh, uh, Lambda expression or Lambda function was introduced. The syntax is here. Uh, you see that uh, on the left side, we have the parameters and then we have the expression. And if you have more than one you know, statement, then we have the curly bracket, okay? Simple examples are here. Uh, lambda function without any argument, without any parameter. So you can see here, just uh, you know, uh, opening and closing brackets, and then we have an arrow a mark, and then we have one single statement. We don't have here curly bracket because it's a single statement. Then we have another example: uh, a, b. We are passing as parameter, and then we are using them in the expression. So here we have. Uh, two parameters and those parameters are inferred automatically by the JVM and here we have seen sorry we, we can see here that uh, uh, we have the only one uh, line expression so there's no bracket so this two parameter turn a value then we have uh, one parameter but uh, with the explicit parameter type so you can specify uh, type over here and then here we have one statement though we have put that uh, you know curly bracket over here to make that you know we can put more than one statement inside this expression the last example x equal to x into x so this is simple uh, one parameter example and uh, here also uh, you know type is uh, in inferred so important thing about uh, lambda function is that people think that lambda function is the shortcut for writing anonymous class but this is not true an anonymous class is created at compile time and uh, compiler compiles that anonymous class to byte code. But in the case of a lambda function, when a compiler sees a lambda function, then it uh, uses different way of calling it, you, uh, called dy dynamic invocation. So dynamic invocation is uh, used to call a lambda function and uh, a class from the lambda function is created at the runtime by JVM. So let's see how uh, a lambda function is called by the JVM when we run a lambda function or when the lambda function is called and see how it is you know processed by the compiler. Uh, here are the steps how lambda function is seen by uh, JVM. So in step one, uh, lambda expression is compiled. So when uh, you write a lambda function like this, system dot out dot println and hello, so Java compiler recognize it as an implementation of a functional interface like runnable runnable or function. So a functional interface is the interface which has one and only one abstract method. It cannot have more than one abstract method. So when uh, uh, compiler sees the lambda expression it assumes that it is an implementation of a uh, functional interface second compiler creates a hidden method so what happens now because uh, uh, the lambda expression is like a function like this here right so we have just uh, uh, you know uh, brackets over it and then arrow symbol and then expression right of the lambda expression so a uh, compiler creates a private synthetic method in the 
class containing lambda function so the class which contains uh, lambda expression inside that class a private method is created and then invoke dynamic instruction is added to the place where lambda expression is you know added so instead of creating a new anonymous in the class the compiler creates a special invoke dynamic bytecode instruction then jvm uses lambda uh, meta factory so at runtime jvm calls uh, lambda meta factory to dynamically generate a lightweight class that implements the function interface and binds it to the hidden lambda method you see here method uh, you know, lambda method was created sorry one private method was created in step two so at runtime gvm creates a lightweight class and uh, derived that class from sorry implements uh, the lambda expression interface and binds the you know method to that class and cache it for you because you know it's a lambda expression right so lambda expression cannot be you know changed once it's uh, you know uh, compiled or it's uh, you know created and seen by the jvm then at the end lambda object is created so now lambda object like uh, jvm then gives you a real object of that class and when you have the real object then immediate you know after that obviously you can call the method on that class and that method is lambda function that means uh, anonymous class and uh, functional interface they are two different things so never confused with them let's see it by an example here uh, we have created one uh, functional interface so you can see we have annotated the interface by uh, functional interface and then uh, we have created one lambda expression here string op s and here in the side the lambda expression we are just you know converting the string to uppercase and then you know printing it so you can see here uh, op is the object of the class which implements this interface so on the right hand side you see what uh, the steps are taken by the java so in step one a private you know static string method oh sorry a private uh, uh, you know method is created inside the demo class so name of the function is like this lambda then dollar main dollar zero and you know it will just pass a string to this one and then return the uppercase form of it second you know invoke dynamic instruction is added to the uh, you know bytecode and at, at the end jvm will create a class that implements this interface as we you know discussed earlier let's move to the method reference a method reference is a shorthand that refers to an existing method by name instead of write instead of writing a, an, a lambda that just call the method so uh, method reference is a shorthand to write lambda expression and there exist yeah, you know uh, and different types of the method references like instance method reference class method reference or static method reference it is so here we have a uh, given example of uh, lambda expression and uh, method reference so here we are trying to print all of the items on the list and we are passing lambda expression here to the for each method of a list so this uh, for each method uh, of the list receives a lambda expression and then the prints or the calls that lambda expression for each item now we can you know replace this lambda expression by uh, method reference so here we are using uh, instance method reference and instance is out exists no doubt and uh, print ln is the method so this is this is the way to you know refer to an instance method reference so you can see here these two steps are doing the same thing and also remember internally jvm also treat 
you know, method reference as a lambda expression and it, uh, you know, uh, process the method reference as a lambda expression using invoke dynamic instruction. Another thing uh, you must note that each method reference can be replaced by lambda function, but reverse is not true. That means each method reference can be replaced by lambda expression, but all of the lambda expression uh, cannot be replaced by uh, method reference. This is important thing to remember. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hope you like it. See you in next video.